write the converse, inverse, and contrapositive of the statement. If Charles Schultz did not write a sonata, then Snoopy danced a jig. Now, we know that if an original statement is P implies Q, then the converse is written as Q implies P. So all we need to do here is to identify what is P and what is Q in this particular compound sentence. So if we think of the statement Charles Schultz did not write a sonata as P, as the statement P, and Snoopy danced a jig as the statement Q, then the converse Q implies P would be Snoopy danced a jig, excuse me, if Snoopy danced a jig, then Charles Schultz did not write a sonata. So the converse is if Snoopy danced a jig, then Charles Schultz did not write a sonata. Again, notice the converse is just switching the uh, P and the Q in their roles. How about the inverse of that statement? The inverse of a statement is obtained by negating the P and negating the Q. So if the original statement was if Charles Schultz did not write a sonata then Snoopy danced a jig, P would be Charles Schultz did not write a sonata, so not P would be Charles Schultz did write a sonata. We're negating the not. So the um, P negated becomes that. Then, and then you negate the Q. Snoopy did not dance a jig. So with the converse we switch P and Q, for the inverse we negate P and Q. And finally, what about the contrapositive? The contrapositive does both. The contrapositive switches the P and the Q and negates them. So uh, we've negated them here, so all we need to do now is take the negated ones and switch them and we'll have it. So finally we get If Snoopy did not dance a jig, then Charles Schultz did write a sonata. And of course, instead of saying did write a sonata, you could say Charles Schultz wrote a sonata. That would be okay as well. So the converse uh, switches P and Q, the inverse negates P and Q, the contrapositive switches and negates.